Samoa have just got themselves their first win in the Rugby World Cup 2023. It was hard fought at times, scoring at the end of the day, 43 points to 10. Now, in the first half, there wasn't a lot of momentum flowing for the Samoans, maybe because they hadn't played in the first round of the Rugby World Cup. Chile were up for the task, actually scored themselves the first try of the match. But in this review, we'll be looking through at the try scorers, what happened throughout the game, We've got to talk about the discipline because we saw a huge amount of yellow cards between these two sides. Yeah, overall, what we think of this game and what these two sides need to do moving forward. But the try scorers, the first one, like I mentioned, it was actually Matthias Ditas, the number three for Chile. He managed to score himself the try in the sixth minute. And that now means that Chile in both their games between Samoa and Japan, they have been able to score the first try on the board. So they'll be hoping to continue that trend as this World Cup does wear on. That was the only try that we saw from the Chileans. Also, we saw Gata Fulich was able to get a penalty kick over in the 30th minute for Samoa. They started relatively slow. They weren't able to find their momentum and find those tries that they would have been after. They took three early kicks for Christian Laliofano from penalties, which then gave them the nine points. The tries right at the end of the first half, we saw the first. It was Duncan Paiowa. Then in the second half, the Samoans came out firing. Jonathan Tamatine scoring in the 42nd minute, Fritz Lee in the 47th, and then Sama Malolo in the 52nd, alongside the 81st. He was also able to get the last try of the match for Samoa, but the discipline side of things for both of these sides was a little bit more shaky than they would have liked. We saw a lot of yellow cards, I believe around six throughout this whole game. Penalty count was 17 against Chile to the nine of the Samoans, and I think the handling was a little bit shaky from both of the sides here, but not too bad of a performance for the Samoans in their first game of the Rugby World Cup. Of course, a lot to improve on before they do play Argentina next week, who will be chasing their first victory, but they were able to walk away with the five points available. They also go just that little bit higher above Japan in the overall standings, which does mean, as we currently sit, Samoa, after playing the one game, are top of Paul D. We saw some decent running meters made by the Samoans in this game, 410 compared to the 316 of Chile. But Chile were able to beat more defenders. And I think that was just because Samoa's back line took them a little bit of time to find that rhythm. But once they had it, they looked very dangerous. But nonetheless, I do thank you all very much for tuning in. This is an extremely short review. The game went on for about two hours and 10 minutes, which was one of the longest games we've seen in rugby in a very long time. The TMOs were checking everything. With all the yellow cards, with all the injuries, just meant this game kept on going and going and going. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's the longest game of the Rugby World Cup that we do see throughout 2023. Yeah, hopefully, a couple more entertaining games just around the corner as well. But thank you all very much for tuning in. If you did enjoy this short review, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to join us for the next live stream that we have got, which is Wales versus Portugal, followed by Ireland versus Tonga. But thank you all very much for tuning in. I will see you all for the next one.